Hey, this is Epic with the Chosen Prime. Today we'll be taking a look at Fans Hobby MB12 Athena. This is their take on the Transformers Master Force Junior Headmaster known as Minerva. So she comes with a few accessories, so before we take a look at her, we'll take a look at those. Here's a quick look at the instructions for Athena. And there are 104 steps. Crazy. But um, actually, it's not even that difficult to transform, so I don't know how they managed to get 104 steps out of it, though. She comes with a uh, collector's card. So there she is in a nice pose there. And she also has some stats on the back. She also comes with a sticker sheet. So if you want to put the uh, cross decals on the hood, and um, you got some for the doors there. Some of these are for different robot parts, like the knees, and I think these are for the dash. This is for the uh, license plate, so yeah, you can use those. For the purpose of the review, I didn't apply any. Yeah, and she also comes with two of these rifles. They're both identical, but as you can see, there is silver paint on there and a little bit of silver paint right there. So nice details on it. And um, yeah, this can also be Fold it up for storage inside the vehicle mode. So we'll show that off too. Last but not least, she comes with her Minerva, her Power Master Junior um, figure. So this is Athena, AKA Minerva, as a Power Master Junior. And uh, yeah, she's really nice. Has a little bit of paint there for the visor. A little paint there. And then you can see the uh, robot face on the back. For articulation on the Power Master Junior, her head can go left and right. She has ball joint here at the shoulder, so it can go up about 45 degrees. And turn. And she also has a little small hinge for about almost 90 degrees at the elbow. Um, there's no waist rotation, but due to transformation, she can bend forward at the waist and again legs are on a small ball joint so they can go in and out just a little bit and they can rotate all the way forward all the way back and then there's a hinge at the knee for transformation so she can get as deep a knee bend as you want to get the power master junior transformed just bend her at the waist and then rotate the legs up and then at the knee rotate all the way back and that'll just slide into place there put the arms to the side straighten them up and you can see a little small notch where that goes into that cavity there and then you just bring in the head crest and this just slides over this section here and that'll complete the look for her face. So taking a quick look at her face, you see the blue accent on the head crest, and she has a little bit of blue paint for the eyes, and the face is also painted orange. And Athena also comes with an alternate face for her actual robot head. So you can see the standard one there with, uh, I guess, just a neutral face, and then this one with the slight grim. Uh, not Grimace, it's, I guess, a smile. Now, here is the main car body. So, the uh, the car in the show is supposed to be a Porsche. So, this does look um, reminiscent to a Porsche. It has rubber tires that spin freely. And uh, translucent plastic for the headlights. You have some nice uh, dark charcoal details in there in the grill with the red lights in the front some accents on the side more on the side there translucent tail lights with some more accents there and then all of the windows are translucent blue as well as the uh, siren lights there translucent red side view mirrors has a uh, nice silver details there on the side. 
and there's the car underneath. If you do want Athena to pilot the vehicle, then just go ahead and pop open the top canopy here. It's on a hinge right there. Just open that. This console section here, you can bring it forward and then just get her into a seated position. Actually, it'd probably be a little bit better to show you if I just pop the whole thing off. Press down on this section. You can see on the bottom, it just presses down a little bit. That way you get the clearance to get her legs under there. She basically just fits in like that. And then I'll go ahead and put the canopy back on. And there you go. You have the uh, power, the junior power driver inside there. Again, Athena's weapons can be stored in alt mode. You just fold it up like that. And then there is a slot on each side. You can see inside there. And you just fold it up and you tab it in with uh, this part here. So um, either side, really. And it's pretty easy, even though I just dropped it in there. So just move that up. And I actually did it really easily before. Yep, there's one, and then again on the other side. There you go, and that's how it um, that's how it stores in the alt mode. Then just close this back down. And yeah, they're stored securely inside. You can't really see, but they're in there. All right, for a quick size comparison, here she is with Masterpiece Sunstreaker, and there she is with Fans Toys Magnum. Now to get her transformed, we'll just open this back up and take her back out. And there we go, oops, the light came off. And we'll go ahead and remove the entire uh, roof section. So first thing we'll do is we will separate this section here and the doors. And back here at the back, just separate that. And then go ahead and free the sides up there. And then same thing for the door. So this will just uh, come back out of the way. And that way you can get to the door on both sides. And then this is on a hinge, so it'll free up and you can just swing that down. And then you want to separate the uh, middle section here. So this will form the legs. So bring this, well this has already come forward, but if it's not, Bring that section forward and then collapse these two pieces here. And then separate the uh, front fender from the, I guess, half of the hood there. Like that. And then that just folds down on this hinge here. that frees up the inside so you have the foot section here and then the uh, thigh so you can unfold that and 
and just bring it out. And then the knee will basically line up by itself as you straighten that out. And then you can unfurl the foot. This is the back half of the foot. This front half, just fold it up and then bend the toe. And then you can collapse the leg back and collapse that part back together. And then for the back here, just tuck in the windshield or sorry, the uh, window and then close up the back part right over that. And then you'll see that it's on a slider. Just slide it out, bend it back, and then it will fold over and this tab will pour it into there. Then for the side view mirror, it's on a hinge and it's also on a C clamp there. So you can just fold that over and make it set up against the back of the leg. All right, so we'll do the same thing for the other side. Separate the fender from the hood. Fold it down. Untab the foot from the thigh there. And unfold the leg. Bring the foot out. Bring the toe forward. Then close it back up. Fold the window in, the black part in, and then fold it so this tab clips in there. Then fold the side view mirror back on the leg. All right, now that you've got her legs all done, go ahead and unfold the arms. Just bring them down. Go ahead and fold them all the way up so they're by, by her side like that. And on the back, you have this, you have this section here. And so what you want to do is untab and then take one section, rotate it around, fold it up, and then rotate it all the way back around again. So we'll do it again on this side. Rotate it 180 degrees, hold it up, and then rotate it 180 degrees again. And you can tab it back in together. And what this does is fill in her back and side sides. There you go. Now rotate at the bicep so her elbow joint is facing forward. And then you can rotate the hands really any way you want. And then for uh, these pieces, just fold in on these hinges. This is the back bumper. Just fold that in. And then you need to rotate this hinge around so that this armature sits flat against the uh, rear back of the shoulder. So I'll just do that and rotate it around. And then rotate the wheel. So it sits like that. So now it's flat. So again on this side, just rotate it 180 degrees and then let it sit flat and have the wheel face forward. And that's it. Bring in Minerva or Athena and just plug in the head right there. And then there you go, that completes the look of the bot mode. So now you have an option if you want to uh, fill out the back. You can bring in this piece here and essentially what you do is fold this piece up Rotate here, and then just fold the front windshield down. And then this part here will tab right onto her back there. So just tab that together, and then it'll lock into place. And there you go, you have the uh, backpack.
Alright, finally here we have Athena transformed into her bot mode, and yeah, I'm not sure if that was 104 steps, but it was relatively painless. So, let's take a quick look at her up close. Again, there's the uh, orange for her face and the uh, metallic blue for her eyes and then on the head crest. And she has some silver detail on the abdomen. That looks like blue paint there on her waist. And then, yeah, everything else is the same as what you saw in the car mode. And then, oh yeah, there's some silver uh, trim there. And then, oh, the, uh, the wheels are also painted. But again, these are rubber tires. Alright. So for articulation, her head, while plugged in is still on a uh, ball joint inside so she can move her head tilt her head a little bit forward and backwards side to side and of course she can rotate and then for the shoulders the uh, shoulder pads get out of the way but she can bring the arms up and you don't have to use this hinge here she actually has a dedicated hinge in the shoulder so if you just kind of hold it in place, then it goes all the way up about 90 degrees and back down. She has a bicep swivel. And as you can see, she actually has a double, uh, double jointed elbow, but you really only need to use one, but you can use both for a full range there. Her hands are on a, looks like a mushroom peg and you get a swivel there as well as a hinge here at the wrist so she can fold her hand inward and then the thumb is on a hinge so I can move in and out and then the fingers are all pegged together but they're on two hinges here the waist is on a ball joint as you can see inside so she can rotate a little bit left and right and then she has a teapot side to side, as well as, sorry, some bend front and back. The legs are also on ball joints, so she can kick all the way up or out forward, all the way back about that far, and then out to the side. She can do the splits and then her leg, or I'm sorry, her knee is on a single hinge there. It's actually on a double hinge, but it's uh, it's blocked by the back of the leg. So you only get to use the one hinge for 90 degrees. But if you untap this one and bend it back a little ways, then you can get a little bit more bend out of it. Her feet are on a hinge that goes forward and backwards. Backwards not so much, but then she does get a separate toe bend. And then as far as ankle tilt, she doesn't really have an ankle tilt. She has the part that can move just a little bit due to transformation, but most of the bend will be at the toe. So she has full range like that. As for her weapons, they do tab into her hands. So you can see there's the tab and then the peg. Just slot that in and close her fingers around and she will hold her weapon very securely. And for the face, you just remove the crest and the face piece is on a tab there. And we'll bring in the other face and see how that looks. So I'm um, still not quite a scowl, but not quite a smile either. Also, I just wanted to mention that you can store the guns on her hips. So there's a slot there and then the tab on the side of her hips and you can just peg that in. 
and it should hold on the side of her leg. For a comparison, here she is next to Masterpiece Sunstreaker, Transform Element T01 Prime, and Fans Toys Sheridan, aka Warpath. And for comparison with another Fembot, here she is with Fans Toys Rouge, aka RC. That is Fans Hobbies MB12 Athena. And again, she is a junior headmaster, so perhaps Fans Hobby plans on releasing the other two. But in the meantime, if you are interested in this figure, please go to thechosenprime.com and check availability. Again, this is Epic with The Chosen Prime. Have a great day.